I didn't see you there. Welcome to my new office area today. Buckle yourselves in because we are covering it all. How I organize my life in its entirety, ranging from how I plan on a daily basis, my best productivity tips, how I prevent myself from procrastinating. First thing I want to discuss has been truly life-changing and I do not say that lightly, okay? I've always struggled my entire life with getting out of bed. I just would rather roll around in my bamboo sheets, scroll through social media, go back to sleep, anything but wake up. So now I basically Jedi mind trick myself to wake up. So what I do is I say, Brittany, you don't have to wake up. You go right back to bed. All you have to do is take a five minute shower. So I walk on over, take my shower, and before I know it, I'm up and I don't even wanna go back to bed. Not once since I started doing this have I gone back to bed, but just kind of lowering the bar of my expectations that I don't have to wake up, I just have to hop in the shower, truly amazing. So this kind of dovetails into one of my overall biggest tips for productivity, and that is just start. The biggest barrier to doing anything that you're procrastinating on is the starting that takes the most momentum and once you kind of start doing it inertia will take over and you usually end up doing a lot more than you expect i have started working out with my personal trainer ryan and boy let me tell you that's been fun but i do not want to work out at all like i have zero motivation so i just tell myself i have to go in there and do one exercise that is it and again just like with a shower because i tricked myself into starting I will continue. So whatever it is in your life that you're kind of dreading and can't really get the motivation to start, set the bar really low for yourself. And just as a little icing on the cake, and this relates to Atomic Habits, if you saw that video of mine, give yourself a little reward after you do the task that you're setting out to do. And that reward can be going on your Instagram for 10 minutes or having a little treat. I'll show you what mine is. I have it handy. These little smart sweets, they're kind of like healthier for you candy. But whatever it is, if you also add on a little reward, you're setting yourself up to actually get started. And once you finish, you'll get a reward. So then it becomes satisfying. If you take nothing else from this video, remember the just start principle. It will change everything in terms of getting things done and being productive. Now let's get into how I actually plan my day, my life, how it all goes down, okay? The first and most important thing that I do is I use the Google Keep app. I've talked about this app for about five years, but the biggest principle here is to write everything down. If an idea pops in my head or there's a grocery I need to buy, I don't let that live in my mind because that ends up becoming stressful, I'll forget. So the Google Keep app is where I use to brain dump. Anything that I think about that is worth remembering, I put in this app. So I have little color coordinated notepads. So whatever it is, if it's a video idea that pops up, I go here and I have a little note, main channel videos, and I'll write it down so I don't forget. If there's a show I want to watch, a book I want to read, a grocery that I need, whatever it may be, it's a free app and there's no ads on it. So I don't even know how they're making money if they are making money. And then furthermore, on the Google Keep app, I have my daily to-do list, which I will talk a little bit more about later. I know a lot of people do prefer writing things down. So if you are one of those people, what I really love are these planner pads. These don't have dates on them, but they have kind of a daily setup. So you can have your daily to-dos, your daily schedule on here and just use it whenever you need it. I got these three. I'm actually gonna be giving them away on my Instagram stories. So go follow me over there, watch my stories, and I will be giving these away this week. For more of a big picture view of my month, I do use a paper calendar. I just use the monthly view here, and this is where I plan out all of my content for both YouTube and Instagram. I need to kind of visually see it, and what I do is I write my video ideas on post-it notes, and I move them around. I kind of see what flows together. Move this over here, move this over here. That's just how I've been doing it for quite a while now and it works really well for me. For planning any individual day, I have my daily to-do list as the pinned note on the top of my Google Keep app. Something that I highly, highly recommend that you do is set your daily top three. And I even do it gold, silver, bronze. Okay. I know it sounds cheesy, but what is my gold task? Like the number one thing, if I accomplish nothing else, I need to do this. So for me today, it is filming this video. So even if I do nothing else the whole day, this is the main thing I needed to accomplish so I can feel good about that. 
Then there's the silver task, that's kind of my second top priority, and bronze. That's how I have them sorted on my to-do list. And I focus on doing the gold task first. I know a lot of times it's easier to do you know, the easier things first. It seems less intimidating, but really, if you think about it, you want to do the most important things first because you're using your brain power while you have it. As the day goes on, you're more likely to get tired and find excuses, so go for the gold. That's what I like to say. Another thing that is so key for my productivity is I put things in my calendar. I just schedule it in my calendar and I don't think about it. So for example, with my workout, I have it set for today at four o'clock. Like I said, do I wanna do it? Absolutely not. I'm gonna get a little alert reminder on my Google calendar and I just do it. I don't think about it, I just put it in the calendar and do it. The more you think about it, the more you can weasel out of it and find excuses. Now we have to talk about minimizing distractions because I think that is kind of our kryptonite, right? It's just hard to sit down and focus now because there are so many things going on that are distracting us. And you know what the number one is? Yeah, the little devil on your shoulder all day long, your phone. Hey, would you rather work or Look at pretty pictures on Instagram. The phone is like the best thing and the worst thing to ever happen to me. So there is an app, you guys, it's called Flora and it is a time blocking app. So what you do is you open up the app and you can set a block of time. So for example, say you want to read for 30 minutes or if I wanna do editing for 30 minutes and not get distracted, you press start. And as you're working, a little seed starts to grow. And the longer you're working and focusing and not on your phone and then before you know it it's a beautiful tree so you actually see a physical manifestation as you're working and focusing another thing you can do here is you could connect it to your bank account and you can set a dollar value for that focus period that just adds the accountability factor and then if you do click out and break your focus what it does is it will bill that amount and it goes to planting trees around the world so it goes to a good cause if I can't help myself and I want to click off go check Instagram whatever what happens is that I've killed my tree. And I know it seems ridiculous, but psychologically, it does something to me. It just motivates me. So look, if you look at this in the app store, 42,000 reviews and almost five stars. It is so good. In general, I like to keep my phone on silent because I'm constantly getting notifications and that disrupts my focus. If I'm in the middle of doing something and someone's you know, texting me, I can't help but want to stop what I'm doing and checking. And there is a cost every time you're switching tasks, it's taxing on your brain. So the better you can keep focused on one thing at a time, the more productive you're going to be. I also disabled email notifications and this is another big, big thing that I do. Okay. I only check my email three times a day. So I do check it in the morning. I check it as I'm eating lunch and then later in the evening. When I check it in the morning and afternoon, I don't actually answer any emails unless it is something urgent. So what I do is I block out times in the evenings. It's after the kids go to bed and that's when I answer all of my emails at once. So this is called task batching. Instead of breaking my focus all throughout the day and answering emails, I do them all at once and I'm able to do them a lot faster. This last thing I do for productivity is the biggest thing and it's not something many people are gonna wanna do. It's not even something I really wanna do. It ended up happening by accident, but now that it's a thing, it has changed my life. And that is, I no longer watch television. I never set out to do this. It's when Capri was born. I just did not have the time. I'm you know, taking care of a newborn. Before I knew it, I stopped cold turkey. And for me, television just really sucks me in. And that's hours and hours of time every night that I now have back that I can get work done and be productive and read books. And it's been so much better for me. I have a very addictive personality. So once I start watching a show, like I cannot stop. In fact, this weekend, I did watch Bridgerton and guess what happened? I watched the entire series in a day. And that's what reminded me, Brittany, no more television, you can't. And I'm not telling you to stop watching television, but even if you can cut back or just do what you need to do first, get your work done first, and then watch your show afterwards as a reward. So I do still watch YouTube videos because those are you know, shorter and more digestible and I don't get as sucked in for hours and hours. Okay, so those are the biggest things that I do in my life to stay organized, productive, and focused. These have really, really worked for me over the years, so I hope you did learn something new, get some ideas from this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe especially if you watch all the way to this point in this video it must mean that you liked it at least kind of liked it so with all that being said thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video bye hey girl what you doing girl
What are you doing? Oh, I just want to hang out. No, I'm busy. I'm working. I'm oh. trying to be productive. Come on. How about a couple little swipey swipes? No. Check your notifications. We could watch a movie. Come on. Only like five minutes. Nobody has to know. It'll be fun. You know what? That's it. I'm done with you. I'm done. You're going on silent. Get, get. So, is that a no then? I'll see you in 10 minutes.